Hello Capricorn and welcome to your general reading for February 2024. Sorry, I kicked my keyboard on the floor. If you're interested in the extended video to this reading or you wish to explore my work or book a reading, you can find all of those links down below. All right, Capricorn, there is new love coming into your life. I heard a new connection and this person is well matched for you, well matched to your personality, your likes. Um, I'm hearing that I'm reaching a group of Capricorns who've maybe been burned, have trust issues, and I heard this person, this person is honorable. How nice. Um, so I hope that reassurance helps. I saw a bowl of peas and carrots and I heard um, a line from the Forrest Gump movie, Forrest saying, you know, Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. You know, of course that's, that's through his eyes and right, it's, it's just, it's cute. But I feel like, you know, there's just some things that naturally go together, Capricorn, and you and this person are it. So let's take a look at what spirit has for you. I gotta tell you, the fire signs gave me a run for my money <laughs> for the past few months. I'm like, wow, I hope you don't have some of the, the challenges that have been coming through for the fire signs. I, I said to spirit, you know, hey, can, can we like end on a high note? I feel like I need to go take a nap. A nap. <laughs> okay, so Capricorn, let's see what comes through for you. Whoa. All right, two wanted to fly out. Let's take a look at them. Professional assistance, a consciousness of lack. Hmm, are some of you consulting a, a dating service? You're feeling kind of lonely? Hmm, all right, let's, let's see what comes out. I'm not gonna take those. All right, Capricorn. What do you have for Capricorn spirit for February 2024? Capricorn, Capricorn, I can't even speak. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please remember this can be your energy or someone coming into your life. And I'm picking up on theirs. Ooh, we have action. I just saw two, two, two. For me, that's a choice. Maybe this person enters your life and you're thinking, hmm, am I going to do this? A blossoming abundance. You might meet them at work. This could be someone who is very focused on work, stability, does well, taking steps. Wow, you may go for it. Okay, that's it. Door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah, I was kind of getting you've been through it. Somebody in this equation has been through it. Bottom of the deck, the loving man deserving. Look at that man holding a coin, new supportive connections like peas and carrots. This is really nice. This may be a divinely guided connection, Capricorn, one that they know you've waited for, prayed for, wanted. Uh, this person is maybe worth taking steps to bring together. Maybe there's something about your lives or or your circumstances that um, hmm, have been tough, but when you meet each other or, or when you take the steps to find, you know, that fulfilling relationship, there's something about the effort they demonstrate or what you find, you know, worth doing to bring it together that is going to motivate you. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. We're going to get an overarching energy from this deck. Let's take a look at what spirit is showing you about this. What do you have for Capricorn? Wow. Deep connectedness, demonstrative friends, turned lovers and we have truth the truth will come to light clarity honest expression 
Wow, I feel like this is someone uh, like no holds barred. I feel like you and this person will deepen your intimacy, have long talks. This, this to me, this could be transparency. You might have a friend who says, I, I have been in love with you forever. You know, maybe it's somebody you work with. Maybe it's uh, someone you've been um, acquainted with, but you were on the outskirts of their life. And they're, they're wanting to tell you they, they love you or they want to be with you. All right, let's go. What is going to unfold in this situation? I saw the Eight of Pentacles. This could be a work situation. Maybe you meet somebody at work. All right, what's unfolding, Capricorn? What do you need to know about this? This could be a friend. Somebody you already know with deep, hidden feelings. Deep emotion for you or you them. This can be vice versa. Are they being coy, sly? <laughs> you might have in the back of your head, oh man, I have been with, you know, people who have lied to me. Yeah, this person's honorable. Look at that, six of wands. I've been with people who have lied to me, third party situations. I'm done with the deception and the sneakiness. You might be sizing them up to make sure that they're different than that. Like I just heard somebody out there think or whatever, I'm picking up, I don't have time for this mess. Okay, yep, You'll, you're gonna take your time. This person may take their time. Okay, yeah, wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups, this person's going to make you really happy. This person may be at a distance from you. I am getting my Traveler Energy, Page of Wands. This could be someone who is um, either wanting to go on a, you know, a holiday with you, get away. Someone who says, hey, I want to come and see you. We have the Sun, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups. Magician temperance. I think love has been disappointing. Um, maybe for maybe for you, maybe for both of you, you've been trying to manifest a connection, but maybe you've been dealing with you know people who maybe seemed well-meaning, but maybe they weren't, and you just don't want to go there. You don't want to deal with that. All right, let's take a look at the clarifying deck. Three of Cups. What is that all about? The Three of Wands. Looking to the future. It, is this someone in a friendship group who's thinking, wow, you know, we could really build a life together. Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting someone is greatly admired. Beautiful. Page of Cups. Icebreaker. Hey, you want to go out? Do you want to get together? Ten of Cups, long-term happiness on the mind, Six of Swords, and I feel like, I feel like this is, um, you know, a connection that gets you in a in a better mindset where relationships are concerned. Maybe this is, you know, something that's been weighing on your mind, and you've, you, you know, you're. You're either finally breaking the ice or someone else's. Like it's, okay, it's, it's building, it's building. I, I, I want to say something to this person. I want to get it off my chest. Let's look at the moon. Oh, that's too many. The moon. What is the moon, please? Clarify the moon. The lovers. Wow. Strong emotion, strong connection feeling very drawn to this person the mo that's a lot 10 of swords reverse death reverse king of swords river yeah this there's way too many but it it could be someone who's coming back they might have gone through a really tough time maybe um ending a relationship betrayal Oh, yeah, because I, yeah, Spirit wanted me to reiterate, this person is well-matched to you. 
if you have trust issues from past events or past lovers, this person is honorable. Let's get one more. The moon and the lovers. The ace of wands in reverse. You might have you might have connected with this person, but it, it never really got off the ground. I'm kind of getting that, you know, the Ace of Wands in reverse was sort of a, you know, like a, a missed opportunity or something that maybe you wanted and it, it like fizzled. Or this could be past relationships that just fizzled. And why did they fizzle? You know, were you, were you connected emotionally as well? Were they? Let's look at the Seven of Swords. What is that about? If trust is an issue, that's not a card I want to see, but I hope it's positive. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Let's get one more. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Let's get one more. Uh, is this person... Um, concealing the fact that they are like, I, I, want, I want to marry Capricorn. I want to build a life with Capricorn. We have the Two of Pentacles that also fell out with the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I saw 1111, by the way. Um, so what is this person planning or doing? And This could be your energy. You might be in a please let's take it slow sort of mindset. And, you know, anyone who really wants to be in your life isn't going to rush you or pressure you. Not those with the right intentions, anyway. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> That's really funny. After what I just said. Well, let me deliberate on this. Let me think about this. Um, you might be sizing them up. And there's nothing wrong with that. They may be sizing you up. You, you might be wondering if you and this person are well matched from a practicality standpoint. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of pentacle energy and there's, there's nothing wrong with making sure that you and, and someone are kind of on a level playing field. Queen of Cups. And then there's that, you know, there's love that kind of hits you right between the eyes, right? <laughs> Pow, right in the kisser. All right, let's look at, uh, oh, well, let's get another one on the Queen of Cups. I've, I've waited long enough to love again, to open up my heart again. Wow. Knight of Swords. I think that there is an anxious energy with this. I do. Um, and, and not in a pressure kind of a way. It's like, I don't, I, now that I know how I feel, I don't want to let this go. Nine of Cups. A wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups. Yep. And somebody is just absolutely floored. There's an epiphany, a realization. This person really makes me happy. I can't, I can't believe they don't come with baggage or, well, maybe they do, but maybe they unpack that baggage. Nine of Cups, Tower. Okay, wow. There's a lot here. It's almost like I've been, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this and here it is. And I never saw it coming. Now, if, if I, I'm going to put them back and get it one at a time, it's just way too many cards. I, it, it drives me crazy. Um, if this is someone you are well connected with or you know them um, even a little bit and there was something that stalled out, I feel like what happened over here was, um, you know, maybe they were getting out of a situation. They had a choice. You know, part of you could be questioning, you know, are the feelings real? Is this person who's expressing this to me really feeling this? I, I you know, and you may be questioning intentions. I think they're going to demonstrate to you how they feel. 
um, as I mentioned before, some of you might be already acquainted with this person, but you've never been together. And the feelings that you're discovering or what they come at you with, it's like, I love you. I want you in my life. I, you know, I've, I, I, maybe I overlooked this or, you know, we, we tried once before and it didn't work. I want to try again. I, and I think, you know, I'm hearing you go from like zero to 60. You're going to assess this. Don't get me wrong. And I did pick that up, but I feel like you go from zero to 60 with how you feel about one another. It's like, boom, you know, <laughs> this, this incredible realization of how happy someone makes you. Let's get another one. Nine of Cups Tower. Strength, the Wheel of Fortune. Either someone has held back or they've really been, you know, kind of, um, you know, measured, careful. I'm older now, I've learned a lot. Don't have to be older, but I'm, I'm looking at this, this gray-haired figure hermit. Um, maybe someone has put a lot of time and effort into their work. Maybe this person um, really disappeared from your life for a while. This person could be from a different background they may have gotten married maybe had kids with someone else and like they're ready for you know a brand new start again if you had a false start in this connection what they didn't know then maybe they know now hmm okay let's I don't want to go too deeply into the bottom of the deck let's look at this page of wands messages an invitation to travel they're coming to see you. Page of Wands. If we get the Four of Wands, they're coming to see you. We have the Hanged Man. They maybe they want to see you, but they're they're kind of caught up in something, stuck in a situation. The Fool Reverse. I think this is caution. I do. Like I I I've been here before. I don't want to go back there. I, I'm telling you, I think that this person is 100% transparent. Judgment, high priestess. And maybe you're intuitive to, enough to know if this person would be, um, you know, not doing the right thing or if they're hiding something. What's the most important thing you need to know about this person, Capricorn? What does spirit want you to know about this person? The two of cups. This is your person. And it's interesting that in this deck, the two of cups is friendliness. If this is someone who started out as a friend, or even if they didn't, the root of this relationship is going to be um, deeply rooted in truth in demonstration you will you know I'm hearing into me see and I love that twist on the word intimacy because we build intimacy by by you know that deep connectedness by honestly sharing how we feel somebody in this equation may be feeling like okay this would this would be a pretty big leap of faith for me but if spirit wants you to know this is your person just take it slowly. Bottom of the deck, moment to moment. There's no need to rush. I mean, zero to 60 could be, wow, I envision something amazing with you, but I'm, you know, I'm willing to take my time and let feelings develop, if that's what this is demonstrating. What else? What is spirit showing you? This is really nice, Capricorn. Courage. Have the strength. Just do this. This person could change your life. Transformation. I saw one nine one one. Wow. Anything else? Wow. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. There is an end of a cycle happening, and and maybe that's happened over here. It could be that you've been through something really difficult. But they're pointing out the symbolism. Oh, oh, wow, are they ever. 
They really are. Okay. You're very different people, but you're incredibly complimentary. We have a yellow tree and a pink tree. We have a flower growing from the crevasse of a stone where there's probably no nutrition, no soil, no, maybe no water can get there. But look at that beautiful flower. It's glowing from absolutely nothing. We have someone who is your missing puzzle piece. We have someone who is willing to share. They bring abundance. They bring light. They bring color to your world. And they are open. An open book, I'm hearing. Open book. Into me see. You're going to move this forward. That, wow, I love the symbolism in this deck. I, I do. This is really cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's get advice for you, Capricorn. Surrender to the divine. I think spirit is orchestrating this meeting, or if it's if it's not a meeting, this is, you know, the, the cultivation of something really beautiful between two people. A time to give rather than take. Mm, you know, I, you may find that you've you've been or they've been with, um, you know, selfish partners. And, and this could be someone who's very giving. I mean, look at that. There's a correlation between those two cards. What else? A win-win outcome is forecast. And I felt the need to pull that one. A fiery climax approaches. Tower. I, I don't think you see this coming. Wherever it went. Yeah, I don't think you see this coming. But, you know... The tower, the wheel, <sighs> clarifying, you know, ultimate happiness. You don't see this coming. It could really change your life. So, wow, how beautiful. I'm going to leave it there. We're going to look at where this is going in the extended. So the link is below Capricorn if you want to join me there. If not, thanks for being here. Um, relish this beautiful energy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.